Warning, there's going to be spoilers. Just saying. Hey guys, it's Pigeon Master. Welcome to the Thought Sound. Okay. Okay. So, last Fire Emblem video, we're talking about, you know, how Luna looks like Severa, you know, that sort of thing. Well, get ready. So it's gonna blow your fucking mind. Alright, so, so uh, let's get this. Now, I just posted a video about, you know, a contact side story, which has, you know, the first thing to say, but if, if you, you can watch this one first, go ahead, because they're gonna say it anyway. So, Here's, so here's my mind blow number one. Okay, according to the Fire Wiki and some other stuff that you'll see there, apparently Luna is equal to Severa. What the fuck? Like, what? What? Like, he, 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 he knows this. Like, I took to the Fire, you know, the, the, you know, list of characters of Fire and Fates in the Fire Emblem Wiki. I just, you know, just right-click Severa and just, like, wait a while. And then, all of a sudden, I looked at my tab and was saying, wait, why is Severa and on the tab, not Luna? And then, all of a sudden, nope, she's the same character. And then, I looked at Inigo and Owain, and it turns out they're the same characters, too. Even though Owain doesn't make any sense to be a freaking dark man, unless he, you know, gets, like, very specific, you know, um, fathers. But, like, how? Like, did you just, like, figure out how to class change without the need of any external source? To something that he never did before? Dang away, you're so awesome. And then freaking Inigo looks like he's much, much younger. <laughs> I wonder how, how he can do that, but whatever. The, yeah, so apparently, we got three three of our favorite characters in Fire Awakening. You appear one more time in the north side to the Fire of Fates. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this guy, Subaki. Now, okay, okay. Now, get ready for my mind blow number two. Okay, so I so I was you know, I was looking at, at, at Subaki. You know, that was not a big deal. I mean, just like he's a cool, he's a cool looking dude. Like he looks like a like a um, dude with long ponytail. Yeah, no, what, no big deal. But uh, it turns out. You know, that's a, he probably like a similar personality. Like, get this. He has, he probably he has a, um, uh, apparently he's like, uh, he's raised to be perfect. So he's like a, like a perfect Pegasus warrior. Yes, Pegasus warrior. As a, he's like a unisex, a unisex job class now, apparently. So, there you go. So, he's like, this like perfectionist, I guess. Now, um, uh, that, that's kind of familiar. Now, it turns out that apparently he gets a, a daughter, but by the way, uh, another thing, you know how in Five Awakening, how like, uh, when you get the children characters, the mother, the mother determines the, the, the child, the father determines the hair color? Well, it's the reverse in this one. So, the father determines the child, the mother determines the hair color. So, he gets a, he gets a daughter, who, as, as of this video, doesn't have an English name, but in the Japanese name's name, uh, Matoi. It's like, okay, whatever. So, I didn't really care that much. Until I look at my toy, and here it is. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if this looks familiar. Okay, and then here's here's the third thing. Got to get doesn't say like mind blow number three, but I'm putting it anyway. But get this. So apparently, I you know I looked at oh wow that that guy has a daughter who looks like Cordelia. I wonder if you know Severo will be evolved. Okay, so now are you ready to get your mind fucking blown? Because this is where I'm gonna fucking blow your fucking mind. And it turns out that he can actually have a romantic support with with Luna, aka Severa. Now I was uh, con kind of confused, like wait a minute, but Subaki is uh, Hoshio's side only, and Luna is North side only. Like how can how how even how even the heck? Third version. What the fuck? Yep. So it turns out, if you get the third version, which is probably it's gonna be like DLC or, or you somehow manage to get it separately, whatever, then you can have Severa be the mother of someone who looks almost exactly like Cordelia. Fucking genius! What? What, what even? 
seriously, both of those Shida North sides have like characters that I like, or like, characters based on characters I like, or in the case of Luna, a character who is a character I like. It's one of my favorite characters. So you're telling me one that Severa come to come to you know the gateway and figure it out that I was especially Princess Luna went back somehow grew up in a different game and then take on the Daniel Luna and if somehow manages to you know marry a dude from the opposite side uh, of the conflict to get a you know the dog who looks just like like, like her mother. And then freaking the Avatar can marry that can marry that Cordell lookalike and then things get insane. What even? What frig even? Wow. Okay. Freaking those people in Skype. But uh wow. That's uh big old mind blow here. It's a big old mind blow. Um, uh, oh, by the way, there's, um, apparently there's a, um, a child kid looks like Gaius. That's a thing. On, on the wrong side, mind you. On the side of not playing, mind you, but still. And there's, um, one that looks like Tharja, I said, with white hair, who's apparently the lesbian option. Check this fucking shit out! Yeah, it, it turns out that, cause, um, you know, cause, uh, apparently if I'm, if there's actually a same-sex option, like a same-sex marriage option, uh, for the north side, it's dude named Zero, which, whatever. It's not that new, the new with Mega Man. <laughs> now they're, now they're talking about that, that video. And then, it was like, okay, whatever. Like, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like, okay, yeah, this, this, this dude looks, um, yeah, no, whatever. But, uh, on the video version, not only do you have to get a child character to marry, to get the lesbian option, but, the, but said lesbian option is Tharja! <laughs> It was like, that's kind of hilarious too. It's like, Tharja is, is supposed to be a stalker ca character regardless of who your gender is. And then it, it just goes full circle here. And, and according to, well, the final wiki, the Japanese version, that she is aware of it, that she's some sort of like reincarnated Tharja, and then the, and the player character is the reincarnation of Awakening's avatar, except she can actually succeed. <laughs> Like, seriously, we're, like, both ways. Holy cow, what the heck, game? What the heck, game? Oh, man, I mean, done, I done, don't even know. Oh, by the way, and the, and the weirdest part is, to get to, to get to, um, the Tharja look like, you have, you have to get past this guy who just, what? What? <laughs> I mean, would you expect Tharja to be the daughter of someone who looks like that? I wouldn't. All right, all right, right. Okay, that's it for the, that's it for the, mind, the main mind blow and side things. So um, that's it for thoughts on. See you guys later.